What's life like in refugee tents? It's simpler than you'd expect, but it's too complicated to be considered a normal life. It's currently 8 p.m., and we're in one of the camps in Kafar Aruk in rural Iblib, Syria. Despite the fact that the night is young, everyone is already in their tents. In this tent in front of us lives 41-year-old Mustafa. He's a Syrian who's been displaced for the past seven years. He's lived with his family in this tent for the past three years. We're going to tag along with this father and his family for a day in their life. ونام بالخيام ضمن الخيام كل العائلة عندها خيمة تنام بالخيام تمشي حالها تمام وشايف أنت وضع الخيام يعني بالصيف هاي الخيمة ما تغيي حر الصيف ولا برد الشتاء والله بالنسبة لي بس عدمة الدنيا أول شيء ما أخلي الولاد يطلع برا لأنه إحنا بمنطقة جبلية ينتشر فيها فيها ثعالب فيها وحوش في كذا فإحنا نخاف على الولاد صراحة وإحنا بمخيمات عشوية Mustafa attempts to close the windows, letting in cold wind. If you turn around and look up, you'll notice that blankets have been hung up everywhere. During the winter, they rely on these blankets to keep warm. They can't keep the heater on for fear of starting a fire. السلة تحتوي على سفنج وسداجة وحرامات وحرامات نوع يعني صراحة رديء جدا وحصير والمشي نحن بهاي بهاي لهم صراحة بالمساعدة الإنسانية There isn't a set time to wake up in the morning. Because none of Mustafa's kids attend school, since there are none in the camp, and he doesn't work. <laughs> باركين بالمخيمات يعني هذا أغلب حال شباب ال ال الشمال سوري محرر باركين لأشغال عملاء. Morning. قبل الحرب كنت أشتغل مزارع عندنا عرب مشتغل بأرضنا وفي عندنا أغنام وكذا بتربية المواشي ومرنا شاهد ماشي الحمد لله رب العالمين. Mustafa's tent is split in two. The first half is where they eat and sleep. They spend most of their day there. The second half is for cooking, and it holds food and the tools for cooking. They also wash their clothes there. Mustafa and his family eat two meals a day. <laughs> Mustafa leaves his tent and walks between the tents. Everyone knows each other, and everyone knows Mustafa. He's the camp director, with the goal of helping people with their concerns. Usually, the camp director is chosen by the residents, someone they know and trust. 
هلا في فهم اطلب شو اعطي اخي لولا هاي الخيم كان احنا بنبل بالعرق صراحه والله بالنسبه لغباء ساعات النهار عما يعني بالنسبه لنا بالشتاء عما معاناه صراحه تمام بظل هذه العواصف والمخافضات بشتاء عم نعاني من المطر In the cold weather, the camp looks uninhabited. Everyone is in their tents, including Mustafa, his wife, preparing lunch. Getting access to a source of heat is the task that haunts the displaced in winter and consumes most of their day. For example, here Mustafa burns old clothes. يا اخونا الحبيب بالنسبه عم نعاني معاناه صراحه بالنسبه لمواد التدفئه. هلا اغلب العوائل احنا كون عندنا مواش اغلب العوائل عم تعتمد على روت البقر والغنم تمام؟ إذا صار جو صحو عندنا نطلع على الجبل يطلع أولاد يلموا نايلو حطب عش بيابس تمام هذا هذا البلاستيك أحذية تعبانة حتى نمشي أمورنا يعني صراحة في معاناة بالنسبة لهذا الموضوع There's no TV here and Mustafa gets along by following the news on his phone He gets his news from his phone and gatherings with friends and family النت الحين عم تم يومين ثلاث بدون نت لما الجو في عندك مثلا مخفض او عاصفه عم ننقطع من النت Mustafa's kids are among the 4 million children born during the war. They know nothing besides war and life in tents. والله بالنسبة للخيمة بالوقت الحالي منزل أكيد هي المنزل وهي المأوى الوحيد اللي أوينا تمام بعد ما تركنا بيوتنا وتركنا راضينا وتركنا أملاكنا وارزقنا هي الخيمة هي اللي مأوتنا حاليا ولكن يعني يعني منزل مؤقت صراحة ونتمنى إنه ما يدوم It's dark out and time to sleep again. Eyes shut and wait for a new day where nothing new ever happens. Their biggest dream is that there isn't a strong rain tonight that shakes their tent. <laughs> 